hey, let's have a look uh, at TVNZ super quick. I mean, we're all kind oh, of. Oh yeah, I, I yes. I, yes. I just want to. Oh. I want to. I want to bring one thing up. I want to bring thing up. So this is. I don't know if it's called the charter, but it's like the um, uh, the statement of intent from TVNZ. Yeah, this is their statement of intent, and these are some important parts. Uh, these are their statutory obligations. TVNZ's primary reason for being for being is to provide compelling content to New Zealand audiences, right? TVNZ's primary reason for being is to provide compelling content to New Zealand audiences. Consistent with the obligations detailed in the TVNZ Act 2003, TVNZ's statutory obligations are, there's four of them, to provide content that is enjoyed and valued by New Zealanders, to ensure our content is readily accessible to viewers, to maintain a sustainable commercial performance and to reflect Māori perspectives. So, let's talk about Fuckboy Island, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. G George, you've got some stuff on this. You've been looking up the... Uh, a little no, I've, got, about Fuckboy Island. I've got, I've got the, the trailer from the American version of the show. So, just imagine this bit with Kiwi accents. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Women have been forced to tolerate the manipulative douchebaggery of F-Boys for far too long. And that's why we're here. Welcome to F-Boy Island. Oh, is it Nikki Glazier? She's great. I like her. She's great. The three of you are hoping to find love in this tropical paradise. I'm over the players. I'm at a point in my life where I'm ready for love. Oh, this is yeah, perfect place. You know, there are 24 men. 12 of them are nice guys. The other 12 self-proclaimed F-boys. All right, yeah, we get the idea. He's really cute, but he looks like he's going to ruin my life. <laughs> um, and, of, and, of, and, of, and of course, we all sort of heard, I'm, I'm sure we all knew the, the news that came wow. out a wee while ago. Uh, which was just before, and I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry if you're if you're going to call something F Boy Island, just do if it. You're, if you're if you're going to make word. if you're going to make me think Fuck Boy Island because you're calling it F Boy Island, then fuck you. All right, so it's mm. it's Fuck Boy Island, uh, and there is this dude here. Um, actually, you've got probably more of the details than me, haven't you, George? Because you've got the exact specifics. But uh, reality show has been rocked by the revelations that it was good. No, that one of its stars took advantage of a teenager's drunkenness to get her into bed, cover her mouth and nose to keep her quiet when she called for help. So there's one of the fuckboy island contestants. Hang on, hang on. Let me just go back. That I'm TVNZ, shocked. that TVNZ considers as part of the their mandate to provide compelling content to New Zealand audiences. I love that the, the this this reality TV show kind of seems like the the, the apoapsis of reality TV because it makes the part like that part that you see in reality TV where people are wondering about the authenticity mm. or the realness of each other, mm. and this one sort of just brings that into the forefront. Uh, and also, yes, yeah, surprise, surprise, one of the fuck boys was a bit of a fuck boy. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't charged, he, he got charged with the, the thing they were trying to get him to find, find, find him guilty on was uh, suffocating, which he, uh, he got away, he got acquitted, uh, even though the events of that night were, were all pretty much agreed on by all parties that he, um, basically lured a, a, a drunk girl back to his uh, house and that people heard her saying no, uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, I, I, are you hinting at the fact that this guy might be a prominent New Zealand sports person? Because <laughs> those guys seem to get away with it as well. Um, yeah, like who, who goes, let's take this terrible idea from the States that we can buy for cheap. It won't cost us too much production money, and there's definitely not going to be any problematic behavior for anyone that decides to put their name forward for this mm. fucking horror yeah. show. Yeah, who, exactly. who's yeah. Who, who wants to be a fuckboy? It's like it's like trying to find the arsonist in a reality TV show, and they're going, "Holy shit, they burnt the house down! What the fuck?" You know, it's like, mm. well, of course, that's what they do. It, dep it depends on that behavior, right? It, it, it's yeah. in the title, fuckboy. It depends on that, but also it's framed in that trailer in the American example, anyway. And in fact, you'll see in the TVNZ response that I've got here that it's framed as somehow, um, 
you know, handing the power over to the three women who are basically oh, trying to figure fucked. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it's female empowerment, is it? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I'm just one. over the players and I'm looking for love. And I thought this was a perfect opportunity to put myself on a rapist island. <laughs> That's a much better title. <laughs> oh, t shirt, please. T shirt. Rapist island. I like that much better. Yeah, I think you need a bit of context for that T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, might, you can some people that, might be a bit confused. They're in the they're in the pool and and they're talking and they're trying to get to know each other and the woman's trying to find out if this this guy's a fuck boy and you know he gets her a drink and she's just like, mm, that's right, it's fuck boy island. I'm not going to drink this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like, like, yeah. Uh, the cool it smells, it smells a bit of it smells a bit of rohypnol. This one is this is this one safe? Is this one safe? So, it's uh, just the, the glass of rohypnol <laughs> with an umbrella in the top. You know, obviously, it's... obviously, obviously, we're not laughing at that. What can happen with with date rape drugs? But the the lunacy of being surprised, as George has said, that one of the fuck boys is a horrific fuck boy. You know. So yeah, what was um, tell us the response, George? Get, get George have us a response. Oh, uh, yeah, this statement quote: "The format puts the power into the hands of the female contestants and emphasizes aspects of the current dating culture." So yeah, not only the excuse of "oh, it puts the power in the hands of the female contestants," but this this excuse that does get sort of wheeled out for this sort of thing is like, "Oh, it's just reflecting reality," right? So the emphasis seems to be that we need to somehow reproduce the bad reality no. of modern dating or whatever it is as a spectacle for, you know, for our content slop that TVNZ is obligated to, to give us. So three episodes of the traditional game show format where they're trying to work out who's a fuck boy or not. And then halfway through one of the contestants, the police come out of the bushes and arrest one of the contestants. And then it morphs into a procedural courthouse drama <laughs> of trying to find out whether he has broken the law. And he clearly has, uh, but the uh, victim has been traumatized so much that she can't go through with it. So the guy gets away with it. And then we go back to rape boy Island. <laughs> Is that too dark? I can never tell. <laughs> Well, apparently TVNZ will buy it, Chewy. Just put it in an email, mate. You'll be sweet oh, as. This is the thing about reality TV, right? The the reason that we get so much of it is it's because it's fucking cheap to make. Cheap as, yeah. You know, the block, as an example, is weeks of a rolling ad for for its sponsors and that sort of thing. You got Paula Bennett's latest uh, rich housewives reality show, and it's all bullshit, and they've had to admit it. Um, you know, it's just it's just trash. And and uh, and I think there's there's a serious part here as much as we're taking the piss out of these things. We're talking about a merger with Radio New Zealand, right? Exactly. Yeah. So is Radio New Zealand gonna get worse or TV is it gonna get better? I I, I don't have trust. I look. I look forward to our morning report uh, interviewing the winners of Fuckboy Island. That's going to be the best thing I've heard. Oh, all that, um, multi-channel synergy. Yeah, yeah, because you get the crossover nice. promotions and stuff as well. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> oh God. Fuck. <laughs> uh... <laughs>